Hey everyone, it's Potato Pikachu and this year 2020 has had a lot of increases in the price of CSGO skins and stickers and although the times have passed and the prices have stabilized now, I kind of do regret not investing into some of the items that could have been very profitable for me and although there is no use in dwelling in the past, I do not recommend that you guys just stay in the past it's not worth it just move on and continue on with your lives and don't worry about like past failed investments or anything like that you just learn from them right but it still stings a bit and this video will talk about five of my i guess regrets of not going into investing into some of these items whether it be late 2019 or in 2020 Maybe you guys had the same regrets as I do and we can just vent it out a bit in this video or in the comments down below. So if you do enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe. It's free and you can always undo it. My Twitter and Discord will also be linked down below if you want to follow or join. So make sure to do that. So without further ado, let's get right into my first regret. The first one I'm going to talk about is the Shattered Web Collection and that I didn't invest in them sooner and I wish I did. And more specifically, I'm talking about the three new collections that were added during the Shadow Web operation, the Norse, the Canals, and St. Mark's. I kind of wish that I invested in them right when the operation first started and especially more on the higher tier weapons like the Op Gungnir, the Op Prince, and the AK Wild Lotus. Take the Op Gungnir for example. During the middle of November in 2019, the Op Gungnir was going for around $315 in field tested condition. That's so cheap compared to what it is now. The price now on buff is going for around $2,300. How insane is that? This is probably the biggest regret since the margin of profit would be so huge if I invested in them early on in the game like some of the other people did as shown in the Steam charts. However, this was before I started posting content on YouTube and I was just so excited at the time that we actually had a new operation that I forgot completely about investing in CSGO. I just wanted to play the game, just get the cool new drops and that's all I was thinking at the time. I mean, who wouldn't, right? Like Valve just completely revamped the operation model, they added the battle pass, which was really interesting and there's just a bunch of new content within the game itself during that operation time and just so much hype that I completely forgot about investing for like the majority of the operation and I only just realized to do it like during the end of the operation. So one thing I really am going to take away from this failure, I don't know if you could call it a failure, but the shortcoming is that when new content gets released or like a new operation gets released and maybe there's new items or recurring items, I'm going to invest in them while they're cheap. And let's say that the next operation, the three collections are going to be reintroduced, right? If they are, then the prices are going to drop as more get like uh, dropped, as more skins get dropped in game. So when more are going to be in circulation, the prices of those skins will drop and that will be a perfect time to invest in them as sooner or later they're going to rise again once the operation ends. However, let's say that new items get released in another operation, there's going to be uncertainty in the market and the prices will be low during the beginning and initial time so that will be the best time to buy the item as sooner or later they're just going to rise in price after the market realizes that the prices of the skins are not justifiable according to their rarity and they actually look great. So might as well just invest early on these new items that could potentially be added to the game. The next regret that I didn't purchase was the Feria Katowice 2019 Hollow. You all know how good this Hollow looks and it's the most unique one in the Katowice 2019 set because it is basically a rainbow on a cool looking logo. I was watching other investing YouTubers at the time and the price of the Furia Hollow was around $20 during the time I was watching these videos and they like these creators have been telling me to basically invest in them as they're going to rise in price, right? And I didn't really listen. I didn't really want to do it because 
I didn't really see like what the point of it was. And also like it's such a shame because during the sticker hype that we had in like the middle of summer, the prices of the Fear Hollow were selling for $90 on the Steam market. How insane is that? If you invested a lot in the Fear Hollow, then you could have just sold it all at that time and made such a huge profit margin. And although I'm pretty confident that the Fear Hollow will still rise in price, it's currently going for around like 60 bucks on the Steam market now. I'm sure it still has potential to rise in price even more. It still sucks to just think about the fact that I could have invested in them when they were $20 and now they're already at $60 and they're just still gonna rise and rise over time. They're not really gonna fall below that $60 mark any longer. The next regret I have is the Katowice 2015 Hollows. Before the sticker hype even happened, I had my eyes on the Katowice 2015 Hollows and I thought they were really good looking for the price they were at. Like I thought they were pretty undervalued and I thought they had a lot of room to grow, but I never really acted on it because I was kind of afraid that they would just flop and nothing would like really come out of that investment. So I never really did anything to purchase them. And then lo and behold, the sticker hype happens, the market gets manipulated like crazy and stickers like the Navi Katowice 2015 Hollow goes from $200 all the way up to $500 and above. But I mean, who really could have guessed that a price market manipulation would even be happening during that time it happened? Like, I, I would have never guessed that something like that would happen. And I never really experienced that before as well. But I'm going to add a disclaimer here to tie this in that although these are going to be regrets that I do have, don't let these regrets define who you are as a CSGO investor and just try to move forward on these failures because in the end, you're going to learn more from this. You're going to grow as an investor, as a person, and you can use these failures as an overall guidance and give you more experience on what to look forward to and what to look out for. Don't burden yourself over like your failures and regrets as that's not going to help you grow. That's just going to bring you down even more and demotivate you in general. Vent your frustrations in the comments down below as I would love to hear your regrets as well as I'm doing in this video. However, not investing in the Caddy 2015 Hollow sooner does still hurt a bit. My fourth regret is not investing in the discontinued collections that got replaced by the three new collections during the Shadow Web operation. The Cobblestone, the Chop Shop, and the Rising Sun collection all got discontinued when these three new collections got introduced during the Shadow Web operation. And it should have been clear as day to me that I should have invested in these older collections because there is such a low chance that Valve will reintroduce them because you have to move on someday and Newer skins need to be introduced in operations or else it will just get boring and repetitive. A skin like the AK Hydroponic from the Rising Sun collection was going for around $180 towards the end of the operation and it started to skyrocket in price where nowadays the price of the skin in field tested condition is going for around $350. People are going to want older skins and skins that are just harder to come by because it just makes it more unique and you stand out more in game so it makes sense that the price is rising and i regret not noticing that sooner and i should have invested in it sooner the last regret i do have is that when the sticker hype happened i didn't really capitalize on it as much as i should have and i should have sold more items and like bought more items during that initial hype period so I could sell it when it was at its peak. When items have so much attention on it and there's just so much hype surrounding it, then the prices are going to skyrocket. But once it dies down and people like come to their senses, then the prices will start to drop. And during that peak moment, it's best to sell your items as it's almost guaranteed that the items will just drop sooner or later. I really regret not selling some of my items and some mistakes that I did make was even buying some stuff like during like near its peak as well, which is a really bad thing to do. Never buy an item when it's at its peak because it's going to drop sooner or later and you can buy it at a cheaper price. 
So if another market manipulation happens and a lot of items skyrocket in price, then it's a perfect time to sell the items or even buy them initially so you can sell them when it's at its peak because people are going to be suckers for that and they will buy it. So these were my five regrets for CSGO investing in 2020 and a lot of them were pretty huge but who cares right? In the end it's in the past and there's no use in dwelling over it. In a few months or so you're gonna forget about it and you're just gonna move on from it so you might as well take those failures and just turn that into an experience that you will never make again and make you grow as a CSGO investor or a person in general. We're never going to be 100% correct on anything. It's always going to be some failures and some successes. So always just keep that in mind when you are investing and just watching videos in general because not everyone is always going to be right as well. So it's always important to do your own research and just learn about the market in general. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. It's free and you can always undo it. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Potato Pikachu signing out. Peace.